Everybody ready? Good, then let's get going. a really warm welcome back well this has just arrived in the post this is a nemesis ultra caravan wheel clamp and it has a bar that goes through the wheel and so that stops it turning against the chassis now in theory this thing fits both alloy and steel wheels and it seems to need a one inch or 2.54 centimeters uh, hole in the wheel to be able to put that bar through that stops it from turning against the chassis and then you replace one of the wheel nuts with the nuts in here. So let's have a look what's inside. Instructions guarantee and what have we got okay we've got some spacer washers we've got the main plate itself through the instructions uh, later on the caravan service chap is coming to uh, service the caravan so I'll leave it to him to put the, the receiving bolt on and then I'll get on with fitting this uh, probably tomorrow so I'll catch up with you then all right, the service chap has put the shorter of the two receivers on. I think that should be fine given the shape of our wheel. Uh, don't worry about the missing hubcap in the center. Mike is just polishing those for me uh, to make these wheels look absolutely badass. Now I've uh, sprayed them black, I'm really quite happy. So let's have a go at fitting this um, bar in. Okay, it'll go, but not comfortably. I don't want to be forcing it all the time. Let's just try it without that foam on the outside. Yeah, that goes just fine, but obviously that's going to ruin the paint. So, so I think what I'll do is pop in and recoat this steel bar and then that'll keep it protected from the wheel and it'll be fine. I'm sure this would be fine if I hadn't painted the wheels, if they just had their original paint on them. Um, but obviously it's so tight that a few layers of paint and lacquer uh, I mean this doesn't fit and I don't want to be forcing it in because that'll just ruin the lacquer on the wheel. Now the slightly confusing thing is you're supposed to use different shaped wheel bolts uh, depending on whether you've got steels or alloys and these are exactly the same shape. They're conical, it's just a different length depending on the depth of your wheel. Um, but uh, the manufacturer claims it will fit so I guess we'll just get on with it and not to worry. So 
So before I try swapping that uh, foam coating over, let's just make sure the rest of this lock fits before we go to all that trouble. So this is the locking pin itself and that locks directly into rece the receiver that's on the wheel. So that goes into here in the centre and then clips on the wheel and I guess uh, those washers we will use in a minute to get the spacing correct on this thing. So then to stop the lock turning while you're actually trying to lock it you use this allen key with the little grub screw that's already in place on the collar here and then just tighten that grub screw down onto the lock and there's two different positions this can be uh, it's quite a little thing so be careful you don't lose it so with none of those spaces in it locks in here fine but what does that look like Okay, here's a better angle of what that looks like. So you can see there's a huge amount of space between the wheel and the back side of the lock itself. So that needs to be reduced by using those metal uh, washers between uh, the inside edge of the lock itself and the locking mechanism. So uh, let's pull the locking mechanism out and slot some washers in, see if we can get the whole face plate to move back a bit. Now this won't lock, which probably means I've used too many washers. So it's a bit of trial and error, I guess. Uh, let's take this off and take a few of those out and then try again. That's the lock all set up in the correct position. Let's see what needs to happen with this foam. Oh, before we do that, I forgot to show you this earlier, didn't I? This is the pin that you need to keep safe because this is the thing that helps you to uh, install and undo uh, the, the wheel nut itself. So do not lose that, whatever you do. Okay, now it looked earlier as if the bar covered in the original foam wasn't gonna fit, but let's just double check that. And correct, so let's get this foam off and just confirm that it fits with just the metal and see how much space we've got there. So whether the foam, slightly denser foam I've got in the house will work. Bare metal fits absolutely fine, but that's no good for protecting the wheel. So I've got this thin sheet, I think it's about uh, a mil and a half, two mil. I used to use it under the aquarium. So let's just fold that round and if that seems like it fits, it's much thinner than the manufacturer's foam, then I can tape some of that round and hopefully that will work better. Yep, that seems much better. Oh, except I've got the end stuck. Okay, I'm gonna have to be careful how I tape this. So here's how I tape the foam onto the uh, steel rod itself. So I just cut a rectangular piece and then had a seam running down the length. Uh, I had a little gap 
actually between the two edges of the seam because it was just ever so slightly too thick without that little gap there so I wanted to give it a bit more space in the diameter and then I used just black electrical uh, insulation tape to hold it on because that's nice and waterproof and uh, smooth as well so I just taped it into place horizontally and then wrapped a couple of pieces top and bottom to make sure that the foam wasn't going to get stuck in the uh, wheel as it was put in and out of the slot needed to lock it. Just a quick thought, be mindful of where you put this down because of course this is all uh, foam on the back and you don't want to get a bit of gravel or grit or something embedded in the back and then scratching the wheel where it touches. Right, the sun's going down and it's getting a bit chilly, so let's get this work lamp on and then we'll be done. Now, it's not as pretty as it was uh, because it's got this new foam padding on, but I'm much happier with the fit on the wheel itself. Uh, they do seem to fit steels, although as you saw, I had to modify it a little bit to go onto mine. It might have fitted the original steel. It seems to go through the spare wheel still. Um, but uh, where I've painted it, the paint is a little bit thicker, and so the hole available is a little bit smaller. Anyway, there we go. Hope you enjoyed watching along with fitting a nemesis onto a steel wheel. Uh, from me, that's all. So good night, goodbye, and it's bye for now. See ya.